In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of a segment. I'm going to start off with two circles. There's one and there's the other. In the last video, we looked at a sector. So if we had a center, a radius and another radius, this area right here was called a sector. So we had a sector like so, radius here, radius here and then we had some angle which we called theta. If we wanted to find the area of this sector, we could say that that was going to be one half r squared theta. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. What I'm now going to do is draw a segment. A segment is cut off by a chord. So this is a segment right here. So it's the area trapped between the chord and the circumference. So that is a segment. If I draw another circle, what we can do is look at how we can find the area of a segment from using the area of a sector. So if I draw this up, what we've got, something like so. The line then comes across here. So if I just put on that this angle is going to be theta, this is going to be r, and we want this shaded region right here, then if we can find the area of the sector and subtract away the area of a triangle, that will give us the area of a segment. So let's just look at the triangle here. We've seen in a previous video that we can find the area of a triangle, and we'll put this on. So if we have a triangle where we don't have a perpendicular height, so let's put uh, the uh, C here, A here, and B here, we can say that the area is going to be one half AB sine C. Let's just consider though what we have in this particular case. Well, A is going to be equal to R, B is going to be equal to R, and C is going to be equal to theta. So this part right here, and I'll just change the color of that, this part right here will have an area, and we'll plug this into the formula now, the area of that particular triangle is going to be now one half AB. Well, that's going to be R times by R, which is R squared. And then sine of C, C is theta, so that's going to be sine theta. So if we take the area of a sector and we subtract away the area of a triangle, we will get the area of a segment. So if I now look at the segment, we can say now that the area is going to be equal to, if we take one half, so it's one half r squared theta minus the area of a triangle, one half r squared sine theta. Remember, that's just a little isosceles triangle as the radius is the same length. At this stage, if we want, we can simply calculate this or we can factor this. The one-half r squared is common, and that leaves us theta minus sine theta, where we're measuring the angle in radians. So that gives us the area of a segment. So you can do it manually, or you can simply factor it and plug the numbers in. So let's look at an example. So here's uh, my circle, and I'll put now on here. Let's, uh, let's have something like let's go for in fact we'll have that I'm going to now find the area of the shaded let's put this on the shaded region just here sometimes it'll be called R I'm going to say that this will be given the center here this is going to be pi by 3 so that's an exact value in radians and this is going to be let's say this is going to be 7 meters I want to find the shaded area so we can say that the area is going to be one half r squared. Well, that's going to be seven squared multiplied by theta, which is pi by three, minus now the sine of pi by three. So all we need to do is plug this into a calculator and I'll do that. We must make sure we're in radians mode, shift mode four. 
So if we consider 7 squared is 49, so 49 over 2, that's 1 half of uh, 47, uh, 49, 7 squared. Then we're going to have the angle, which is going to be now pi by 3. So pi by 3. Then we're going to subtract from that now the sine of exactly the same value. So sine of pi by 3. Sine of pi by 3 is root 3 over 2, if you wanted an exact value. That gives us 4.44 correct to 3 significant figures. So 4.44, and that will be metres squared. So that is the sliver just there. Now, you could have done this by working out this one first, then working out this one and subtracting it away, if that's more intuitive. But the factored form makes things slightly easier. So let's go ahead and do one of these. So question eight in part A, we asked to find the area of the shaded segment below. So remember, this sector formed part of a circle and we've got now the angle just here of three pi by five. So if we just consider the segment, the area will be equal to one half r squared, then we'll have theta minus sine of theta. So the area is going to be one half we will have 1.65 squared. We will have 3 pi by 5 minus the sine of 3 pi by 5. So straight into a calculator with this. So 0.5 times by 1.65 squared. Then we're going to multiply this by 3 pi by 5. So 3 pi by 5. And then we're going to subtract from this now the sine of the same amount, 3 pi by 5. So make sure you're showing these full workings if this is an exam question. Let's check we've got all of that in. So 0.5, 1 half r squared, 1.65 squared, theta 3 pi by 5 minus sine of 3 pi by 5. And that's going to give us 1.27. So 1.27 and that will be centimetres squared. So that is the shaded area just here. Again, if you wanted to work out the area of a sector minus the area of a triangle, and then done it, you can do. This is just an easier way of writing it. So that's how you do it. Let's uh, have a go at a more challenging question. So this is part B. A circle with centre O and radius 8 metres has the points A, B and C on its circumference. Given that angle AOB is 1.1 radians and angle BOC is 2.05 radians, find the combined area of the two shaded segments shown below. Right, so we've got this one and we've got this one. So let's just go ahead and put some values on here. So we know now that the radius is 8. So each of these is going to be 8. Nice and straightforward, nice and easy. We've got the angle A. O, B, so that's going to be 1.0, uh, 1.1, just there, 1.1 radians. Now we're told that this angle right here is going to be on here 2, and this is the angle B, O, C, so this is going to be 2.05 radians. So if we consider what's left over, which is just here, this angle right here, and I'll just see if we can uh, scribble this on. Let's make that a bit clearer to see. This is going to be 2 pi minus the sum of the other two, which is going to be 2 pi minus, what's that, 3.15. So that gives us the angle here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this one area 1 and this one area 2. Now, you can do this even slicker but I'll do them together. So what we know is that the segment, so let's just write segment, segment, we've got two shaded segments here. We can say that the area is going to be one half r squared theta minus sine theta. What we could do is sum the two here and subtract the sine of each angle, but I'm just gonna split this up. So area A1 will be equal to one half, then we're gonna have eight squared, we'll have now theta, which is 1.1 radians, minus the sine now of 1.1 radians. 
that will give me now the value just here of A1. So A1 is going to be uh, that 64, 65 over 2 is 30, uh, 64 over 2 is 32. So 32, 1.1 minus sine of 1.1. So that is area 1. Area 2 is going to be equal to 1 half. Again, we've got the 8 squared. And this is why I was saying, you know, if you want to do it in one uh, one go, you can do. Now, this is going to be 2 pi minus 3.15. And from that, we're going to subtract the sine of now 2 pi minus 3.15. So that's what we'll have. So area 2 is going to be equal to, again, this is 64 over uh, the 2. So uh, 64 over 2 is 32. We've got now 2 pi minus a 3.15. And then we'll have now from this minus sine of 2 pi minus a 3.15. So you can work out these individually. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, just you can do it however you wish um, or you can add these two together and then subtract these values I'll do it I'll do it in one um, I'll do it e each time to show but you can factor the 32 if you wish so 32 uh, will have 1.1 remember we're still in radians mode uh, minus the sine of 1.1 so the sine of 1.1 and then we're going to now add to that, so add 32 times by, and then we're going to have the 2 pi, so 2 pi minus 3.15. Then we will subtract from that now the sine of the 2 pi, so putting all of this in, 2 pi minus uh, 3.15. Uh, Let's do that, and then close that off. So long calculation which you can simplify of course so there we go nice and logical nice and straightforward we've got these values in and that should now give us the combined area so 106 uh, so 106.67 so 106.67 and that will be now if we look at the units we're told that this is going to be eight meters so that's going to be now in meters squared and we'll say now 107 meters squared given to three significant figures. Now you might think that's an awful lot, but if we just consider the area of the entire circle is going to be pi multiplied by the radius squared. So if we look at this, what we've got here is 64 times by pi. So if we do that, 64, so 64 times by pi. Uh, that's going to give us uh, 201. So uh, let's put approximately 201, and that would be meters squared. So we can see that the area of these two give us approximately, and it really is approximately half of the area of the circle. So there we go. Nice and logical, nice and straightforward. One half r squared theta minus sine theta gives us now the calculation we need to go ahead and find the area of these two shaded segments. So a bit more challenging on that one, and in later videos we will look at some similar exam style questions.